It's been a couple weeks since you've seen my face here on this channel. I've been posting mainly podcast episodes that are just audio with some candle making footage. And if you haven't noticed, I've been tailoring it back with the content here on YouTube. And that's just because I'm focusing so much more on my candle business. And it's led me to this point that I want to really sit down and share with you my ideas moving forward and why I am moving forward with a rebrand of my candle company. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. And today's video, I wanted to basically give you an update since I haven't been making a lot of content lately. I've done a lot of work on my candle business and a lot of thinking of where I want my candle business to be next year specifically. So a lot of this is going to really take place within the next six months or so because it is going to take a while to change over everything that I want to change over. But first and foremost, I wanted to just explain why I'm wanting to do a rebrand with my business. Now, I want to emphasize that I'm keeping the name of Memory Box Candle Co. And the core concept of the brand, I think that I'm going to still keep bits and pieces of, but I do want to change the way that I am branding Memory Box Candle Co. to be. So to give you a little bit more insight into why I'm feeling this way is that when I first started the company four and a half years ago, I really wanted to be really connected with my brand, really connected with the products, and I wanted to be the face of the company. I wanted to be really connected with it. I don't want to say I wanted to be like the center of attention, but looking back now, it does kind of look like me as the business owner is kind of the center of the brand. So I really want to get away from that. So I really want to get away from my business is all about me and then take it all the way over to my business is all about my customers. And that's kind of the transition that I am moving towards moving forward because I think that I've been a little bit too me centric with my business and I really want to tailor it to who is my customer, what is my product doing for them and what value am I bringing to my customer? So I've done a lot of brainstorming. Um, this is after reading Donald, Donald Miller's uh, building a story brand. So I highly, highly recommend this book. I've read it uh, three times now using Audible, so technically listening to it, but I get more knowledge and more inspiration every single time I read it. So highly recommend that. Um, but it's just giving me uh, more inspiration to really change things up for the better to help grow my candle business. So my goal is to continue growing moving forward, obviously over the next, you know, one, two, three plus years. But if I feel the way that I'm currently feeling with the brand, I don't know if that's possible because I feel a little all over the place with certain things. I know that I've always wanted to be the face of the brand and really have that personal touch, but I feel like I have lost the connection with what my products actually do for the customer and I don't market and share that enough. So that's something that I'm wanting to really work on with my new forms of marketing. So I actually have a really good kind of, it, it's a review I got on one of my candles recently. So on our Over the Vineyards candle, which I spent a ton of time on that candle, really trying to ca capture the fragrance that I was looking for. It's a custom blend. I really worked hard on it. So to get this feedback on that candle, it really just kind of opened my eyes to this is what I want every single customer to feel when they are using our candles and burning our candles. So here is the review. So it says, this candle has brought so much joy to my household. It smells fresh, natural, luxurious, and delicious overall. It burns so well and the experience has been amazing. I would say this is my favorite review that I've ever gotten in the four and a half years of being in business. Something about the simplicity of this, but it just shows how our candles bring joy 
to this customer. And that phrase of this candle brought so much joy to my household is the direction in which I want our brand to go in. I want that to be our foundation. I want that to be what our branding represents, what our marketing is, is bringing joy, the sense that bring joy to your household. That is something that I absolutely love and it makes so much sense to really focus on how our candles are impacting the lives of our customers. So with that, I wanted to just share some of the main focuses that I will be doing over the next foreseeable future when it comes to this rebrand. So what exactly does the rebrand look like? So in my opinion and with my situation, this is kind of how I'm going about doing things. I'm wanting to have all of the candle labels be cohesive. I've had the same candle label design, I will put it up right here, for so long and it's kind of become like a signature of having the little icon. And I feel like I slowly want to move away from that. And by slowly, I mean, I may just like completely transition over. Um, another hard part is that for wholesale on fair, we have different labels and different names because I created like a wholesale line because I didn't feel like my nostalgia line with the scent names and then with the labels and all of that, that it would do as well. And so I changed everything to be kind of a specific wholesale kind of collection or label design. But what I realized is that if the whole purpose of wholesale is to really spread my brand awareness, I want everything to be cohesive so that if a customer in Florida buys my candle and then they go back to that shop and they're sold out and they look me up online, that they're able to find that exact same candle and make a purchase. And I don't want there to be, you know, well, this is the same scent as this one. So I'm trying to figure out what exactly I want to do, which could mean changing some of the names on wholesale and then changing some of the names on uh, my retail side because I have customers on wholesale that know it by a certain name and then customers on retail that know it by another name. And that's just my mistake that I made because I was trying to still keep and hold on so tightly to my initial branding of the memories and the stories and keeping that alive and having that be such a big part of the brand. And I didn't even find myself really sharing my stories that often. I had it in the description of every scent, but I didn't find myself really talking about that or bringing on my customers stories, which is what I should have been doing. And I technically still can, um, but I really want to make the center of the brand focused on the customer so that if I ever took a step back and really wasn't, you know, the face of the brand anymore, the brand would still go on. That's kind of what I'm meaning with this is that I don't want to be so connected with a brand that if I am no longer the face of it, then it kind of is like, oh, well, there's no meaning anymore, you know? So that's really the direction that I wanna go in. So that's task number one, is making everything cohesive between my retail and my wholesale. And then the second one is discontinuing vessels and scents that do not sell well. So that is something we're currently doing. Chris and I are kind of doing a whole overlook on the most popular fragrances and keeping the ones that are doing well and honestly discounting and getting rid of the ones that don't sell. I mean, we have scents that sell you know, maybe once or twice every couple of months. I know that sounds crazy that you really have to do an audit. This whole thing is an audit on my business and saying, okay, Erica, how am I going to make this more efficient? What is going to be the most profitable thing that I can be doing right now? And what is holding us back from growing? So I think that all of these things, me being kind of the center of the brand with the stories and all of that, scents that aren't selling well, vessels that aren't selling well, all of these things are okay to change if it's not serving you and your business. So that is the first things that I'm doing. And then I really want to create a sample set that customers can purchase either of all of our fragrances or of the most popular ones. Um, I used to have this in the past, a sample set, but I always kind of had issues with it. Um, it was the, the same trays that we use for the wax melt samples. I'll pop up a picture right there. I'm always getting questions about that. So I get that from 
clearbags.com. They're called artisan candy boxes. But um, the thing that I found with those is that when I did one cent per square, they would all kind of meld together with the fragrances. So that was something that I got feedback on and especially in the summer, they would all melt together and it was a big mess. So I just completely discounted those, discounted, uh, discontinued those and I haven't thought of any other way to do sample sets. We do have scent discovery packs that we send to retailers where every wax melt sample is individually packaged up. So part of me feels like that is going to be the best way to do it moving forward because it's already a strategy and something that we're doing for wholesale. So part of me kind of wants to do that, but I know that it's not the cutest, prettiest thing for actually for a customer to be purchasing. So there's something in my mind that's always like, oh, I want it to be prettier. You know, I want it to be actually like a cute little fun, like present to get. So I guess we could make it look a little cuter, but I don't know. That's something that I'm just trying to think of on, on how, to, how to do that and make it work. Um, but that's something that I definitely want to offer customers because a lot of people do not want to make any kind of purchases unless they're able to smell it or test it ahead of time. And then the next one is uh, to hire a photographer to take new photos with my new branding ideas and the new concept of the brand. So a lot of lifestyle photos with people actually in it using the products. That's something that I've never had in photos before. So I really want to show my products being used in different settings because the whole concept is I really want to have it be uh, marketed towards um, people that love being home. So home bodies wanting to make their place that they love the most even better. So lighting candles because scents will uplift mood, it will increase productivity it will create a warm and cozy and inviting environment um, and all of those things can really impact somebody's day and really make a difference I mean it's it's funny to say oh candles are gonna change your life but it could for some people without even realizing it the calmness of the flame um, the scent in the air just bringing on uh, different feelings for the customer in a very positive way. So bringing that joy to the customer. Um, and I really want to hire a photographer who's going to really create this brand look that I'm looking for. And I understand it's probably going to be, I don't know, a little, you know, it's going to be an investment. Definitely. If you're hiring a photographer, um, depending on how, much experience they have. Um, so I am preparing to spend, you know, a little bit of money on that to really get that branding that I'm looking for. And then um, along with that, I'm really needing to redesign my website. So I've wanted to redesign my website for a while now. I go through phases of just wanting to change everything and redo everything. But um, with uh, the way that my website looks right now, I'm okay with it. I mean, I know that it looks nice. Um, the navigation is good. I understand really the basics of you know creating a website, but with my branding, I have just a different idea of how I want to set things up, not only with the product photography, but with my messaging, my wording, um, and all of that that I want to include on the website. And then of course, with kind of the new label styles and photos and all that kind of stuff that's going to be combined together, that's going to give my brand a different feel. I want when people look at my website, I want people to feel comforted and happy, joyful, and just kind of feeling the ambiance that a candle gives you when you have it at home. So I want people to feel through the screen what it's going to be like to burn one of our candles in their own home. Now, um, those are the things that I have on the list. As of right now, I do have a lot more that I wanna do, but those are just the immediate things that I wrote down. I mean, I stayed up until, I've been staying up really late. <laughs> When I get really excited about something and really focus on something, you guys know the ADHD qualities in me are just hyper-focused on getting that done and focusing on that 100%. So um, that's definitely something that I am working towards and it's going to be uh, a process, obviously. 
um, but it's something that I'm really excited for and I think it's going to be really good for the brand overall um, and really good to help grow the brand and have more brand awareness and have more clarity on who I am selling to and really know the type of messaging and marketing that I want to show in my email marketing, on my website, on social media, anything that I do, it's going to have more clarity for me on how I want to set things up and be able to build, you know, more of that community with my customer base. And I think it's just going to be good overall. Um, so that is how I am thinking about right now, those are all of, the, all, all of the things that I'm thinking about when it comes to a rebrand. Um, and if you are somebody who is also possibly thinking of rebranding, I want you to ask yourself why and really take the time to figure out why you're wanting to rebrand, what you're wanting to rebrand to, and what your ultimate goal is. Who are you trying to serve? What is the value you're bringing to them? And then you can use that to tailor into your marketing and know exactly what you're trying to do with your candle business. Um, because I think the only time that I did kind of a rebrand was when I just updated my candle labels, but that wasn't really a rebrand. That was just a candle label change. This is actually more of a rebrand that I'm wanting to do. So um, with that, uh, I think that's all that I wanted to talk about in today's video. Um, one more thing, if you are somebody who has made it to the end of this video, I want you to comment, I saw the candle, or maybe I saw the Halloween candle, whatever. Um, and I want to show you what our limited edition Halloween candle is coming up in October. We've never done a Halloween candle before. I don't know why. That's another thing that I want to do is limited edition for the month or for really paying attention to holidays. That's just, I've only done seasonal candles. I've never done like one candle for a specific kind of holiday um, consistently. So this is my first Halloween candle. I hope you guys will be able to see. Um, so it is called Haunted and I did a blend of like spices, so like pumpkin spicy, spices, spices, pumpkin spices, <laughs> and um, ghoulberry from the Flaming Candle. So that one has like a berry scent, kind of citrusy musk, and it's so good. It's so good. It's such like a unique kind of fall. It's definitely, you can smell the spices in it, but there's more to it, the muskiness to it, the slight like sweet berry kind of scent. Um, I love it. I just think this is um, really fun. And I don't know, you guys like the little pictures on it? I know it's way different than anything that I ever put out. And I think that that's something else that I wanna do is kind of have more fun labels sometimes. Cause I know my labels are pretty minimalistic, but again, that's kind of along with the brand that I've always done. But this is really fun. I just wanted to share it. Um, but with that, I am going to end today's video right here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you in my next video.